Hi there, this is Jonathan Ginsberg, and I want to talk to you about Chapter 13 and wage garnishments. And as you may know, a wage garnishment is a situation where a creditor, a judgment creditor, uh, basically files some papers uh, with the court, then sends those papers to your employer and basically demands that the employer withhold a certain percentage of your wages. Now, the thing about wage garnishment is that it shouldn't come as a surprise. Uh, first of all, you can only accept in very rare cases involving student loans and, and some other situations, uh, you're going to get sued first, which means that uh, a sheriff's deputy or process server is going to knock at your door and hand you some papers saying you've been sued. And if you don't respond to that, that goes into default judgment. Uh, but typically, you're going to get some paperwork either way to know that you've been sued, that a judgment has been issued. And then the second thing is that your employer is going to typically get some paperwork from the uh, judgment creditor, the attorney for the, uh, for the, for the plaintiff in the lawsuit. Uh, they're going to tell you that, hey, we've got some notification that your wages are being garnished. So this should not come as a surprise. You shouldn't find out about the wage garnishment when you get that paycheck and you see that a percentage of your, of your uh, disposable income of your, your net pay has been being taken. So if you do get wind that there is a lawsuit, that there's a, there's a threat of wage garnishment, that's when you should call a lawyer. Do so early on. But regardless, let's say that for whatever reason you've not taken any steps, um, your wages have been garnished, now you need to know what to do. Well, the first thing, of course, is you want to get a hold of a lawyer, a bankruptcy lawyer like me, um, and let's look at possibly filing a Chapter 7 or Chapter 13. The minute we file bankruptcy, chapter, let's take Chapter 13, for example, the automatic stay of bankruptcy will put a halt to that wage garnishment. So as long as you're in Chapter 13, uh, no wage garnishment, the, the employer is not obligated to honor the wage garnishment anymore. And at that point, uh, what we need to do is we need to provide uh, for how we're going to deal with that judgment creditor. Now, a judgment creditor is a secured creditor, so generally what I'm going to do, and this, what that means is they have a lien against all your property, including your wages. What I'm probably going to do in that case is I'm going to file something called a motion to avoid lien, a motion to avoid judgment lien specifically, and get rid of that judgment so that uh, you're not susceptible to having your wages garnished anymore, and that we've dealt with the creditor appropriately in the Chapter 13 bankruptcy case. So as you can see, there are several steps we have to take, but the big one is that until we actually have a, a, a filed Chapter 13 case, a filed bankruptcy case, that wage garnishment is not going to stop. Uh, they're not going to stop it voluntarily. We're going to have to do something in the bankruptcy world to do so. And what I would tell you is that if you do file bankruptcy, we've got wage garnishments, make sure that you provide me, provide your lawyer with the name, phone number, email, whatever, fax number, whatever you can of the person in your office, the payroll person, so that we can make sure that those wages uh, don't get grabbed. Uh, we can get them back in some cases, but it's a lot more difficult to do that. It's a lot easier to stop in the first place. So big picture is Chapter 13 bankruptcy will stop a wage garnishment, and the sooner you can get that process started with me, the faster I can make sure that you don't lose any more of that valuable uh, take-home pay. Hope this has been helpful. Again, Jonathan Ginsberg here. Any questions, please let me know. Thanks a lot.